Dixon Mitchell's been involved with Indigenous communities across the country for many years. And when we heard about the first annual Truth and Reconciliation Day, it was very important to the firm and all of our staff to recognize this important event. We came up with the idea of commissioning a piece of Indigenous art that would then be auctioned with the funds going to appropriate charities and a permanent piece uh, to remember the first annual Truth and Reconciliation Day. As it happens, Lawrence Paul was kind enough to agree to take on the project, and I'm happy to say that the painting is now complete. It will be auctioned shortly with the funds going to both the Orange Shirt Society and the Indian Residential School Survivor Society. We can never move forward as a nation as long as the Indian Act is in place. We will always be a segregated country. My name is Yaquilipton, that's Lostelton. We're here in Vancouver. British Columbia. This is my studio. So I've been here about 10, almost 10 years. So I've been painting, making art most of my life. The painting is uh, residential school children leaving the shallow graves going home. So it's the spirits of the native children that were buried in shallow graves in residential schools across Canada. All those brow markings are shallow graves. I'm showing the world the truth that in this country we murdered and raped and tortured and experimented and starved and killed them for over a hundred years. We're at the stage of finding the bodies. And we're at the stage where the government admitted that they did wrong. As a survivor, I found it very difficult to grasp, not knowing that you wake up and they're going to find more shallow graves. It's something that only survivors can explain what sorrow we have. This country has to carry the burden of what it did to us as a nation. It has to be accountable for what it did. This is the kind of help that we need. We can get along, you know, it, it's not that difficult to, to start at some point, to do something together. If we start that way, then we can start on the right foot.